Hello everybody. Today it's Saturday and this is the second weekend of the yard sale. We had it open until about six o'clock last night and then it started to rain. And we couldn't open it today until noon because it was still raining. But now the sun is out, so that's good. But you can see the rain moving off over in that direction. Hopefully it doesn't rain again anytime soon because we'd like to have it open most of today because Saturday is always the best day. A lot of the jewelry is gone, which is good. And Don's trying to sell all these patterns. People have bought some of this, but not much. And one of the whole boxes of toys is gone. And there's a whole, whole lot of things missing that were here before, which is good. But we still have a whole lot to go to get sold. Still trying to sell that motor stand. The bricks are sold, that's why there's no sign on them. They just need to be picked up. And that carpet is gone, which is good. We're still just, just plugging away. Yep. Yeah, that bought the bricks said he'll try and be here tonight if he can. Yeah, to pick he them up. If he can't make it later tonight, that he'll be here later in the week. Yeah. And then the guy over there, right over there on the other side of the trees, he's running his garage sale at the same time. So. Yeah, because he's been, because when we first started our yard sale, he noticed that we was getting a lot of traffic down in here, and so he decided to start running his garage sale. Yeah. He has a garage sale going all the time, but it's only open when he feels like having it open. Yeah. And we're hoping this will be the last weekend, but it's also supposed to rain tomorrow. And if the weekend pretty well gets ruined by rain, we will run it again next weekend. But I don't think we'll run it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because basically nobody comes. So we'd leave it covered with the tarps until Friday, Saturday, Sunday next week. And then we'd run it one more time and then we're going to give up and donate the rest yeah because we don't want to do this forever no and we sold most of it so that's good i know but we still have a ton to go you yeah. finally finished emptying the shed yeah. of sellable stuff right but but what we got left out there is all we got left so that ain't too bad yeah hopefully somebody comes and buys you know people come and buy most of it right for considering the shed was so pet full that it was ungodly, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. And that's crap, and that's crap, and that's crap that we'll have to get rid of. And that's crap in the burn pit. That stuff can be, bur can be burned. And he cut down even more brush yeah, I was off this up, tree. Yeah, I was cribbing up the tree branches along by, by the shed where they, cause some of them were rubbing on the roof of the shed and I didn't want them to damage the shingles so I trimmed the branches back away from the shed. Yeah, some of these are dead though. Yeah. You'll have to it's cut them right off, them all these dead ones. The saw. Well, yeah, but, but you got your, your pole nips. Yeah, but I'm not going to sit there and fine trim it, trim all the dead stuff out of it. I'm not going to put that oh, kind of well, all right then. As long as stuff is up to where we can walk under the branches and I can mow under the branches, that's all I care about. A couple days ago I decided to buy a bag of balloons from Family Dollar to put on all the signs all the way out to the highway to try to catch people's eyes a little more. But the problem is that apparently balloons from Family Dollar are really cheap because these three are okay, but a whole lot of the ones on the other signs lost their air pretty well right away. We just put them up yesterday and then after we had to close the sale we went into town and uh, there's at least one or two balloons on every sign except this one that is deflated. So I guess uh, buying balloons from Family Dollar isn't a good idea because they're crap. So this is the second time we've gotten a bill for that scammer, that Robbie Goodekunst guy who tried to have Frontier hooked up here under our name. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what he was trying to pull, but he is a scammer. And last month, when the first bill came, I was able to look him up on Facebook. So I, con I contacted him on Messenger and I asked him, what was he trying to pull? 
and he was just absolutely horribly uh, hostile and vulgar and ridiculous. Like he accused us of stealing his name. He said that uh, we tried to have Frontier hooked up in his name here because we don't want to pay our own bill. And he said, he told me I smell like fish eggs. And I don't know, he was just absolutely ridiculous. I guess that's what happens when a scammer gets confronted. They don't like being caught, so they try to turn it around on you, just like a cheater. A cheater doesn't like to get caught, so he accuses his victim of cheating on him, or her, whatever. This is the same situation. This guy lives in Hanoi, but we sent the last bill back returned to sender. Obviously that's not going to work because Frontier is going to keep sending them. So this one is going in the wood stove. And I am not going to contact or try to deal with this guy ever again because his scamming attempt failed, he doesn't like it, and he is just trashy, trashy, trashy and ridiculous. Aw, white storm in his mouse. <coughs> Squeak. He's definitely getting bigger. You have dirt on you. There you go. And here's Gizzard. I know you guys don't see him much, but he just walked in about a half an hour ago. Came up here to go to sleep. I wanted to buy him a new collar the other day at Walmart, but they only had little cat collars. He needs a big one. Like an extra large one. But He's our roamer. He doesn't stay around too much. But he still remembers where he lives, and Smokey's in here taking his nap. So, everybody's being good right now, in the house where they belong. Well, Don's making dinner. Little pork chops. Oh, one of those pork chops, uh, teeter tots. Yep, and we already closed the sale at about six, and now it's five after eight. We went to town and picked up a little bit of groceries. Yeah. But today was a pretty bad day for the sale, which shocked us because last Saturday it was really busy. We uh, only had what, maybe three or four people come all day, cars? About that. Yeah. Luckily somebody bought, what did they buy? Oh, they bought oh, that me. trolling motor. So that was a decent amount. Yeah, that's what brought in the most money today. Yeah, and then there was uh, a few other little odds and ends. And then we had some jerk. I didn't see it, I was in the house, but Don said some guy came and said, looked for a second and said, well, there's nothing I want here. There's nothing here but garbage. And got in his car and left. So, yeah, whatever. His, yeah, his girlfriend looked pretty embarrassed. Yeah. So, anyway, we're thinking about having tomorrow be the last day, if it's not raining all day, because we're a little tired of it all, and I think we've made pretty much all the money we can. So the rest will go to Goodwill, which we'll, we will have to pack it all up and make a great big trip. I'm, you know... A, a trip up to the Sheboygan Goodwill with a great big load and uh, give it all to him. And we still have to finish cleaning the shed, so we need to stop the yard sale and put all our time into getting the shed finished. Yep. We'll deal with, uh, we'll do the yard sale tomorrow. Dollar fill a plastic bag. If it don't fit in the bag, make an offer. As long as it's not raining all day. Yeah, as long as it's not raining all day. And then whatever don't go after that, then we'll worry about concentrating on getting that donated and out of the yard and once that's donated and out of the yard then that's when we'll concentrate on getting the shed oh, finished the shed finished yeah but anyway today was a really uneventful day and it's already getting late so we're gonna say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like subscribe comment share and you're having a good night and if you would like to support the channel we ha always have a link to Patreon in our description and there's also a link to our Amazon wish list in our description at all times if you ever want to surprise us. I mean you don't have to but it's there. Say good night. Good morning. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.